Hello everyone. This is me, Melissa. Welcome to Color All the Things. Um, finally getting around to doing part two of No More Girls, Girl with Poem, or Girls with Poem, Girl with Poem. Um, this jacket was messed up. Um, so we'll get into this. We'll finish up her hand. And we'll see where we'll want to go from there. So let's go ahead um, and go back in. You see we've done the face and we've done this thumb. <laughs> Need to finish up this hand and then we can like move on to other parts. So let me zoom on in. How's everybody doing? Oh, I haven't resharpened. Let me resharpen. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't even think about that. I was just la la la. Um, if I seem out of breath, it's because I've been mowing the front yard. My battery died in the lawnmower, so I've got to recharge it. So I'm sitting in here for a minute. So just to refresh, we're using chocolate, uh, PC1082, espresso, PC1099. Henna, PC1031. Uh, Nectar, PC1092. Light Peach, PC927. And Cream, PC914. Um, I think this is going to be like my go-to skin color. I really dig it. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. It looks so much darker. I wonder... Okay, I just played with some settings, so the the skin looks more true to life now. But I really, I really dig this skin color. And what I'm gonna do is because I'm not very um, proficient at hand coloring, I'm gonna start with the nectar first, the PC one zero nine two, just to kind of. If I mess up, I've, I didn't put a dark color down. Like, I didn't start out with the espresso. So, we're just going to go in. Again, uh, the sunlight is coming from this direction. So, this part of her hand would then be in... You know what? I think this might be some décolletage. You know? Maybe not. Cause I remember these shirts with the little bib over the over the shoulder, and the bib never started right here. It always went to the front, so I'll just leave it. But I am going to, in between here, cut off the um, where the hand is for the lace. Have the lace be see through. So let's just get into it again. This is henna. Light layers, you see them choked up pretty far. So how's everybody been? I know the colorathon. Oh my goodness, the colorathon. It was amazing. So much going on. I had so much going on that on that Saturday that I, I missed so many people, and I, I've been trying to go back and watch as I could. Sorry, my husband's texting texting me. My uh, my youngest, she's at her first day at kindergarten. She was so nervous. She's never nervous. Like she is the go get 'em girl and and all that. And she, you could tell she was nervous. I felt so bad. I'm just adding a little of the nectar. Um. You assume this part is see-through. So. Alright, sorry about that. So, I just turned on a fan because I'm burning up. I hope it's not too loud. I have it on low. Oh, but if it is, I'm very, very sorry. I'm just really, really hot. Um, it's already almost in the 90s 
here and I was out mowing the lawn because I'm a crazy person. I at least need to get the front finished. The back has been like in limbo for days because I, I hate doing stuff at night. Like that's my relaxed time. I do stuff during the day and in the evening that's my time to relax. And so I really dislike like mowing the lawn at seven o'clock at night. Like that's not that's not how I roll. Is that I don't think that's finger. That's just not how I roll, so it's just so dang hot. But I have to wait for the battery. We'll see. So I'm going to go in with the henna now, the PC1031. <gasps> I hate when I do that. I don't think I got it on anything. Ugh. Again, light layers because I just mapping it out at the moment. Um, but anyway, so the the colorathon was super cool. I had a lot of fun when I could join in. I did not get a whole lot of coloring done either. Pretty much what you saw on my stream is what I did. Um, which is fine. It was it was a nice community event. So thanks to Sammy for that. As always, there'll be another in November. I think she's editing and looking for a better date because as it stands it was hitting on the state's Thanksgiving so I'm just going in with just a little bit darker just a hair I hope y'all joined in Welcome to new subscribers. I smell, I smell like grass. Because uh, my grass is wet, so I'm constantly having to pull it out of the spitter or whatever that thing is. I don't know what it's called. This is chocolate, by the way. Anyway. Welcome to new subscribers. I hope you uh, find something here on this channel that you like. That you find useful. Always open to suggestions. I can't promise I can make and d and meet every um, request, but I do try. You have a book you like, a medium you want to see used. Um, I have a lot of stuff, and I'm actually debating using watercolors on the shirt. The idea of that really tickles me pink, so I might do that with some pencil over top. Um, but I can't, I can't promise that I'll be able to like get every request, but I can try. I mean, I'm typically a pencil person. I've been delving into markers. Um, Delving into uh, was it Copics and Tombos, and I'm looking to work on my FC pit pens. Um, I'm trying to do more mixed media work, so mixing like watercoloring this this shirt would be a mixed medium. Um, so stuff like that. I'm trying to work on broadening my own horizons. We're going to switch over now to the Espresso, the PC1099. So I've got pan pastels. I'm still working on those. I don't have very many. I have the landscape and then a few extras I picked up. Um, which is what the background might be on this. Unless the watercolor goes really well, then I might watercolor a background. We'll see. 
we shall see. Um, so I've got watercolors, I've got the mission gold that I've, a mission gold palette that I've modified to fit my needs and, and my preferences and colors. Um, so I've added some Daniel Smith in there. I've got Zig Clean Color Real Brushes, which I need to learn how to use. Now I'm going to go in with the light, my baby light peach, PC927, a little baby. And I'm just barely using the, um, the weight of my hand. I know I say this every time. I just want to emphasize it. The way to get light layers is just to use the weight of your hand. You don't have to like lift up because I I used to do that where I would like, oh, I can barely touch the page. Um, and that was hurting my arm. Like my shoulder was starting to really, really take a beating doing that where I was like really pulling myself back from the paper. Um, I have found that just the weight of your hand on the pencil gives you a light enough layer that you don't have to worry about it. Don't press. Just use your your own weight as a light a guide for light layers. So if anybody's wondering and they're they're like everybody talks about light layers but I don't know how to how to do it. Well, that's how I do it. Right, wrong, I don't know. Um, but that is that is how I work it. And then if I need to, I can put a little more pressure down um, as I go. I did. I was I was always like, oh, they said light layers, so I was like holding my holding my arm up and that was really starting to hurt so I just however heavy my hand is that's the weight that goes down on the page I think I'm going to get, been looking, I messed something up there, hold on, here we go, it's a, I really need to stop using my hand, I keep streaking stuff, anyway, so I was looking at getting another Creative Haven book, I have Autumn Scenes, and I, if you follow me on, on my Facebook, which is linked in the description, as well as linked to my Instagram, um, you'll see I posted a, a page from Autumn Scenes uh, from Creative Haven book and that was super fun and now I'm like I want more I just I, just, I need more of these so I'm, I'm think I'm gonna get Country Scenes which is what Anne's been working in or Anne has worked in I'm gonna take Cream the PC 194 914 I can I can figure that out. Nine, nine, one, four. So I think I'm gonna get country scenes. Um, and there was one other. I don't remember. Oh, Americana. Because the Norman Rockwell style appeals to me. So now we're just going to go back through with what we had. So we're going to go back to the Nectar, PC91092. I need to stop getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go into the little crease right here because no matter what, it's a little darker in here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the Nectar and go in and darken that up a little bit. That little webby area. I 
I really want to pull out my pro colors. I should do that for, um, I don't know if anybody follows Blenda Faithful Girl 1979. Um, she's got a Facebook page and she runs these like monthly or something uh, color along type videos. And she's got one coming up and I think I might print it off on some good colored pencil paper and use my pro colors. Because I adore every shade that's in the pro color line. I just really need to find a paper it works well on. And that has been the difficult part. And if I find out that this colored pencil paper works really well with it, I'm going to be super happy. I'm just pulling that nectar up and around and kind of getting rid of a lot of that really, really white area. We don't need quite so much. So I'm going to go in with the Henna PC1031. Alright, noises in the house are going to freak me out now because I know nobody but me is here. Well, cats and I. So it's probably a cat. Still. I've got one sleeping in front of me on the window seat. The other one, I don't know where she's at. She found a toy recently that has just like blown her mind <laughs> this cat played seriously for over an hour last night and then just crashed so hard and like it was her toy sunny would play with it anytime miss marvel got anywhere near that toy she would just start like growling at her <laughs> It is her toy. She is not having any of it. It's pretty funny. Normally they're they're really okay together. But that toy man, that is Miss Sunny's toy. Right, I'm gonna go back in with the chocolate. It looks a little red right now, so we're gonna tone it with some chocolate. Again, I'm just using the weight of my hand. I have to really go in here with the darker colors. Just using the weight of my hand. Take the espresso and the PC1099. Really get it nice and dark in there. So I want to contrast that this part of the finger is behind everything else. You need that contrast in there.
I'm going to take that light peach again, the PC927. See if we can't start blending some of this out. And this be close to our last layer. We want the lines to be soft and blend out very nicely. We don't want any harsh lines. Me, yeah, I've got this nice bulging uh, vein right here. When I worked in the medical field. I had a couple of medical assistants. I was the guinea pig. Um, To, to test to see if they can hit a vein and if they can hit different veins so not not your typical like in the crook of your arm vein like they would have to get the vein in my hand or they'd have to get the vein in my wrist or a vein on my finger because you can't always get um, the crook of the arm vein uh, for various reasons and then we we had some disabled patients that that you know they were their arms were all drawn up against them they had some severe arthritis and they couldn't their hands were all turned in like this and so um the only veins they could get were the ones like right in here cuz they couldn't turn they couldn't turn their wrists to be able to be gotten so they had to get veins that were along the top here so I was the guinea pig. And I don't like needles. But I got paid overtime for coming in. So, you know, there was that. I tried telling my daughters, well, my oldest, youngest, I mean, tried telling Zoe um, all about how you have to use your inside voice at school. Like, they're not going to think her outside voice inside is fun or funny. Like, they're, they're not going to be okay with it. She's, she's going to have to learn and just it was she was like uh, you know like whatever mom whatever mom so we'll see how that goes she is a loud child not like crying loud and not like any of that she's just she's loud and happy and heading to the cream now PC914 I love her to death and I don't want her to change but at the same time just some inside voice that's all I ask just a bit of inside voice Kayla's getting so good at reading and math oh my goodness her math skills I'm I'm in awe I'm so jealous because math doesn't come easy to me at all. Um, and I don't know if it's a function of um, the way I was taught or if it's a function of just me. Um, but I'm, I'm, I struggle with math. I don't want to say I'm not good at it because I could probably get good. Um, but I struggle. The only math I never struggled with was um, Algebra 1. Algebra 1 was fun for me. It was enjoyable. I could sit and do those equations for hours and hours, and I did. Like, I would do extra work because I enjoyed just writing them out so much. I enjoyed doing them so much. We need just a little bit more. Let's go back into the Nectar, the PC1092. I enjoy doing them so much. And so, you know, that was, that was not a difficult subject. But like regular math, I can't add without using my fingers. 
Um, because that's how I was taught. I was taught to use my fingers. I wasn't taught how to look. And that's why, or how to look at the equation and figure it out. Um, some of the common core stuff, like, even though I try, I still can't get it. Um, but, like, the mathematics that they just showed her. Um, I was like, oh. No, the multiplication, not mathematics. The multiplication they showed her. They, they sent home a, a link to a YouTube video. And I was like, oh. Well, why didn't they teach me that at school? I'd have got that. Like, that makes sense. It, it made sense. And so Kayla's just, just been busting through her multiplication table like nothing. So I'm super proud of her. It's like I wanted to do chemistry. But I couldn't do chemistry without algebra and some calculus even. And But I couldn't get to the calculus and algebra classes that I needed without first going through geometry. And geometry was mind-numbing to me. So and then I'm going to go back in with the cream, one, 914, and just, I think this will be it. I think we will have our hand down. It's not the best looking hand, um, but it's a hand. So, and then I can put away my stuff because I've been sitting here holding on to all this, all these pencils, just waiting to finish. I will be right back. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to watercolor her shirt. This is the palette. The it's not the palette. It's the swatch of the palette, and this is the purple I want. This really nice, rich violet purple. Um, I debated mixing it, but I think just straight. It is. Bright violet, bright clear violet, and I really like it as is. And I have my palette here, and right here is that color. So I'm going to mix off into here a little bit of a more watered down version. This is a Mission Gold color. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Try to get a little more, a little more watered down. I mean, I still want it to be violet, but I don't necessarily want it to be violet, violet. Let's see. Do I have a page to test on? No, we're just going to go back here. So that is pretty close to what I want. So now I want enough of that. So I'm going to mix up a, quite a bit more. The thing is, is I need enough to last me through that. Just making sure it's still the same intensity. And it is just a little bit more water but I'll get more water as I go so I'm gonna set my palette up here out of the way out of the video and I will try to zoom in a little bit and see what we do here I'm gonna start over here I'm gonna grab just a touch uh, no not that much There we go. So I am using a silver black velvet round size 4. I may go down to my size 2. Um, I've got it on standby if I need it. 
we will we will see what we do here. It's really wet. I don't want it that wet. It's too wet. There we go. That's a nice. See, it's not so wet that it's puddling. But it's wet enough that you can move it. And that's what I want. a nice little color variation going. It seems to dry fairly quickly on here. So I'm trying not to linger too far away from the edges. Otherwise, I'll get that nasty um, water line where it's dried. Though that does give a bit of texture, so you know, take the good and the bad. There's that part down. So I am going to go just like I did with the hand. Like this is almost exactly what I pictured in my head. I love when that happens. I'm going to make this purple too. brush is a little dry. So after this I'm going to have to go in and dip a bit of water. There we go juicier than I necessarily want, but it's okay. Just wipe it off.
paper isn't acting too bad. Um, no bleed through whatsoever. Um, when it is extremely wet, it seems to dot up. But that just lets me know I need to keep my brush just a little dry on the drier side. Just fine. I can do that. Maybe I can do that. I'm trying to cut off little sections. So that way I'm not left with these big areas I'm trying to just plow on through. keep a fairly consistent color um, just because that's my own personal preference some people like that higher contrast and in, in color variation some people don't um, I like a little not too much so This is the perfect size brush. Not too big, not too small. I'm getting the areas I need to get and going from there. Uh, rinse my brush, wipe it, grab a bit more pigment, dot it. I, I do little dots just to get that extra bit of moisture out because this paper has shown it does not necessarily like that extra moisture. So instead of fighting myself in the paper, I will just listen to the paper and not give it extra water. I know there's people out there that can do this so much more graceful than I'm doing at the moment. But it is what it is. And if you have any tips and tricks you want to share on, on watercoloring, something like this, by all means, please do share in the comments below. I am always up for learning something and sharing that knowledge. Because I am not perfect. 
I'm impatient. This is my problem. I'm impatient. And watercolor is an exercise in patience. You see where the two do not mix? So I have problems. I mean, they're all my own making, so it's not like I can blame anybody or anything. It's my problem. It's my fault. But it makes for some interesting watercoloring experiences. I'm going to do yellow flowers and stuff in here and some yellow greens. Whereas I'll do darker greens on the poppies. So I think I think poppy leaves are darker. I'll have to look that up. Brush was getting really dry. I'm not being super careful about the designs and not getting purple in them. I am going to go over them with colored pencils so I'm not terribly worried about it. Sorry, this requires some pretty heavy concentration on my part, so bear with me. really like this color. I think this was perfect. 
it'll be offset by the beautiful red poppies like bright 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 red or dark red I should say not bright super saturated red I'm actually tempted to put down a red watercolor wash on it just to emphasize the redness of the flowers. water on my palette just just so I'm not going back and forth between the uh, the water cup and my palette it's easier to just keep the water on there that was too wet let's just move it out Almost there, I can see the end. Very nice. Zoom out a little bit. Isn't that pretty? That is such a pretty color. I think I want to take the red and um, probably this one, the permanent red. Yeah. I think I want to take the permanent red. And I'm actually just going to take it straight. Right? Oh, I'll be so nervous. Hold on. Let's see. Poppies. Oh yeah, they're so, they're so vibrant and deeply red. 
And this is what I want. So yeah, I'm gonna go straight in. You zoom back in here. I'm gonna go straight in with the red. No hesitation. Which is weird for me because I'm a pretty hesitant person. how bright that is but I think I'm gonna actually go in and get my um, number eight round just because these poppies are a little bigger and I want to be able to hold some more of that pigment I don't want to go over it three or four times like I did with that one. This was probably supposed to be green. Oh, come on, Melissa, stay in the lines. Here, come get some of these. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This is so outside my comfort zone. Phew. I don't think you guys understand exactly how much I had to talk myself into doing this. And how much I have to tell myself I have not ruined the page. The page is not ruined. It's not. It's fine. The page is just fine. It can handle it. But 
can I? That's the question. <laughs> can I handle my bold choice? We'll see. such a fine tip on the end of this number eight that it can be a little difficult to control. I don't think I've ever done a full strength color before. This is so weird. Oh. Look at how bright that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. I'm stopping here. I will paint the rest of these poppies on the other side of the two page spread. I'll do that off camera. Um, cause otherwise this is going to be silence of me painting and screaming internally. Like, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> uh, but there you go. There's our girl so far. We finished up the hand. We painted on her pretty, pretty shirt. There is no, even at full strength, there is no bleed through onto the other page. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Dang. Um, no bleed through. None. It's on the other side of this page. Oh, okay. So, I'm super pleased with this. I will catch you guys in the next video. So, this is part two. I will link below to part one where you can get Momo Girls. I will link to my Mission Gold set. I will link to Prisma Colors. I will link to my sharpener. I'll link to the paint brushes I'm using. You should find everything you need or everything you need to know what I'm using in the description down below. Don't forget to like this uh, video. It does help tremendously to then uh, propagate throughout uh, the coloring community um, and if you haven't already please do uh, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications for when I next upload or live stream tomorrow's live stream will be at 9 a.m. Eastern um, and if you have any questions as always feel free to leave them in the comments down below no stupid questions, no question too small, too big. Sometimes I can answer, sometimes I can't, but I will always get back to you. Um, thank you again and have a good day.